Hello guys, it's me Soraya. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. For today's video, I'm going to share with you a health scare that I had um, three weeks ago. So today is the 31st and I actually had a surgery on March 8th and yeah, it was scary it was really scary i'll tell you what kind of surgery i had and then i'll show you what i'm going to do today i'm home alone and it's okay because it's been three weeks well actually 21 24 days because it's the 31st so um i'm able to you know get up and walk around um by myself um, i just can't carry heavy things or lift heavy things and so uh, what's been very helpful, um, my co-workers and uh, co-teachers, they actually gifted me with Freshly. So this is like, uh, I, had, I got uh, 20 free meals. And so yeah, I ordered and just picked the meals. And so I'm going to heat up my lunch. And then um, my also they also gave me, my special ed um, colleagues gave me, what's this like a huge amount of um doordash gift cards so i've been using that a lot too so i want to thank you to all my you know my my colleagues and uh administrators because they have been very very supportive throughout this time that you know i was it was really scary but i'll tell you more about it so stay tuned let me pair my lunch. Ooh. Oh no, I forgot about my Yakult. Placed it in there yesterday. Um, I have some coming, I think, next week. So the first batch, I got 10 meals. And then I skipped last week's because... I had a DoorDash too, so I didn't really get to eat a lot of it. Um, let me pick. This one is savory sweet chicken teriyaki. Sweet balls. This is, let me see. Ooh, sausage bacon. Let me see. The other one here. Ooh, this sounds yummy. Citrus kissed orange chicken. So I can have that. What's this one? <gasps> Freestyle beef lasagna. Okay, I'm gonna have that next time. All right, so. Okay. Remove sleeve. Peel corner of film to vent. Microwave for three minutes. Let's stand for two minutes. Carefully peel back film to remove. Okay. I'm also peel this corner. So, wait, can I do this one? It's just nice. I like the nice. I'm going to do it for three minutes. And wait. While waiting for the food, um, I'm going to tell you what happened. So I had a huge ovarian cyst on my left, I uh, know my right ovary. And so it got really big, like 18 cm by 11 cm by 14 cm. So according to the doctor or my oncologist, um, ob gyne oncologist, it was like this big. Like this, imagine that, and this big. So, um it actually affected my lungs and so remember when i was like talking about my health issues so i had um, fluid in my right lung um and i noticed that i have been really having a hard time breathing um actually last year uh during summer and 
I was scared because, you know, because of COVID, I was like, oh no, I hope I didn't get COVID or something like that. But I got tested and then it's always negative. So in our district, you know, we always get um, to uh, do testing every two weeks. Um, and I actually did it every month. Um, and then it was always negative. So uh, my previous doctor actually uh, gave me antibiotics and then cough meds <clears throat> and then um, I took that and it was I was okay for like a month and then it came back so it was on and off I had like cough um, and then I had a hard time breathing so in December I noticed that even if I was just walking in front of the class I was already winded and I was like <gasps> like like doing this so I changed insurance and I moved to Kaiser and when it kicked in in January I immediately um, you know uh, and when it kicked in in January I um, chose a primary care physician and then you know I told her what happened to me da 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 and so she said okay um, let's you know rule out COVID first so she um, had me tested for COVID and then after that, I, okay. And then after that, so we'll wait for two minutes, right? And then after that, um, after COVID, I did chest x-ray and um, blood um, tests, right? Okay. So my doctor had me do a COVID test and it was negative. So she ruled that out. And then I did chest x-ray and um, what else? EKG, because she was thinking it might be my heart. Um, and then blood tests, okay? So all in one day I did that. So I did the blood test first and then the EKG and then the last was the um, X chest x-ray. So when I got to the chest x-ray, Oh my gosh the technician was like um i think you need to call the doctor so they're not supposed to do that right <laughs> so i was like uh, why what's what's happening what happened um she said okay i'm not supposed to show you this but i want to show you this uh okay so i went to the back and i saw the screen and she said okay so your left lung is clear but your right lung is all white. That means it has a lot of fluid. So my heart was, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. Um, you know, do you live with someone who smokes? Nope, no one in our family smokes. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And she said, okay, call your doctor. I said, well, I'll go home and then I'll let my doctor know. And so I went home and then I emailed my doctor and she checked and she said, okay, I'm going to um, refer you to a pulmonologist. And so she referred me to a pulmonologist and the pulmonologist actually um, ordered uh, thoracentesis to extract that fluid in, out of my lung, okay? So I did that and then I did a CT scan of my lung. And then she also, uh, and then he also um, ordered like tests to to have the fluid tested. Okay, so he's like saying, hopefully it's not cancer or like you know something like that, whatever, right? Or he wanted to know where the fluid came from. So that went the whole month of January. I was like seeing my pulmonologist, and um, I did all the other tests, right? So he couldn't pinpoint where the fluid was coming from. I did the thoracentesis twice, so one in January and one in February because I had, so the first one they took um, 1.2 liters of fluid and then the second one in February was um, like 1.3 or something like that. So it, it was a total of 2.5 liters and then there was still enough because i had to stop um the kind of like the the 
uh, vein here at the side of my neck was hurting a lot so I was like I, I don't think I can manage it anymore because it was like ugh, it was really constricting and so I, I was scared like I would be able to breathe or like it's gonna pop or something like that so he said okay that's fine and so after that I was thinking I had um, in February we had a one week um, off for like winter break and so I said okay let me just um see my ob gyne right so um i went to have a uh i i i did a video call with her first and then she said okay come in and i told her that you know i have um a cyst three years ago i had my gallbladder removed and you know the doctors then said that i had like a 5 cm cyst but they didn't take it out because I had complications with my when they operated on me for the gallbladder. But after that, I didn't actually go back to the OBG because um, I was just traumatized. Because at that time, I was actually in the ICU and my mom also died in the Philippines. Um, when I was out of the ICU, that's when uh, they told me that you know my mom died. So. I was scared to go to the hospital to see doctors so I was just traumatized and so I was scared of going to my OBGYN and so um, I told her about that and she said okay so you haven't had any pap smear or something like that so come on um, come visit and then you know we'll do the tests and so I did, and then um, on the other hand, the pulmonologist said, okay, we'll do another CT scan, um, but we'll do like um, your other organs because he just can't pinpoint where it's coming from, right? And then I told him that, uh, you know, I'm going to see my OBGYN, and he said, okay. And so when I went to see the ob -gyne, um she's so nice um she she said oh it's so cold so let me mix it and put some more two more minutes okay so when i went to my OBGYN, she did a pap smear and then um it came out negative um for anything right um cancer cervical cancer um, HPV whatever and then she did find the cyst okay so she said oh my gosh this is really huge it's big like it's 10 cm she said that she said but I want you to go to the hospital for a more thorough um, ultrasound and so uh, I think the following was it the following day or two days later I had um, I had my ultrasound done and yes lo and behold um, it was not 10 cm but it was 18 cm so 18 cm by 11 by 14 so that is huge and when my OBGYN um, learned about that she referred me to a gynae um, oncologist so when you hear oncologist, you always think of um, cancer, right? So I was so scared. I was thinking, please, Lord, you know, I was praying so hard. I prayed to Mama Mary. I prayed so hard that it's not cancer. Please, it's okay that there's a cyst there. We can take it out as long as it's not cancer, Lord. So then um, I... Then I saw my uh, the oncologist uh, a week later, and she told me, uh, you know, of the plan. So she said, "Okay." So I, I actually went. She she read the um, results for the ultrasound, and she told me this and that. I did blood test again, um, and so she told me, 
Okay, so this is the plan. If it's cancer, I'm going to take everything out. If it's pre-cancer, I'm going to leave, um, you know, whatever we can save. Um, and then, you know, just go through um, some medications or something like that. And then if it's not cancer, we'll just take what we have to take, like the, the cyst or the tumor. Um, and then your right ovary. Okay, so that part. But if it's cancer, she said she'll take everything out. Um, she'll take the lymph nodes and the lining in my stomach, something like that. So, you know, all of these, I was thinking, oh my gosh, so it is a cyst and it, is got, it has gotten really big and my stomach has like bloated. It's like really huge and it affected my lung. Um, and yeah, my stomach was like super round, right? I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder my my tummy's like super round. I was like, I, I just thought that I gained a lot of weight, and so I tried to really lose weight, and so I actually lost weight. So from December I was 145, and then I lost like um, 15 pounds, right? No, 145, and then I was. 133 actually so um a little over 10 pounds so it was 133 um or 132 it was like that um all throughout uh from uh february okay so i i, I really tried to lose weight but still even if i lost that much weight my stomach was still really huge and browned so I was like, what's going on? Okay. And then, um, okay, let's pause first. Let's check. Check, check, check. Right here, that's my lunch. They have rice, fluffy rice, and the chicken. So this one is the citrus kissed orange chicken all right so the oncologist said that um the available um what's this operating room is in april okay but she said i want it sooner so um she's, she'll try to contact other departments if they have any available um room okay and so i said okay and that was actually on uh was it tuesday that was a tuesday in um march so yeah and then i said okay that's fine so i went back to work um wednesday thursday friday no i went back to work wednesday and thursday because that was tuesday um march 3rd and then so four and five i i said okay i'll, I'll go back to work wednesday thursday and friday but on Thursday, I received the call and um, they said that, oh, uh, we have uh, an available operating room for the 11th. I, and then the nurse said, okay, I'll call right back um, in a few minutes to um, you know, schedule it with your doctor or something like that. So I said, okay. But after like an hour or 30 minutes to an hour, um, they called back and they said so your doctor wants it sooner and so that's again alarming right and i'm like oh my lord um so they want it on the 8th which was that monday okay so it was thursday they want it on that monday so i said oh my gosh i don't have like time to prepare i need to prepare um you know um lessons right um for the sub uh and then i was like oh my golly what am i gonna do and so my principal was saying okay you go home you know do whatever you can do not worry about planning okay just share what you have so i usually plan like a week ahead so i shared that um for next week right and then i also shared my um lesson plan for the entire march um month of march okay so like my pacing guide 
And so, yeah, I shared that with the principal, with our special ed coordinator, and with the um, sub, okay? And that Thursday, actually, um, that Thursday, I had to do a COVID test to prepare for the, for the um, surgery um, in the afternoon. So I did that. When I went home, the principal said, go home after lunch, go home. And so I said, okay, let me just, you know, prepare some things. I was like in a hurry, preparing. I was like, oh, this is like, the stress level was like, like that. And so I said, okay. And then I went home. I know I did the test and then went home. And on Friday, I had to do um, ultrasound. I had to do CT scan. Oh, not CD scan, ultrasound, blood test, and chest x-ray. So I did three for Friday. So I did all of that to prepare for my Monday um, surgery. So Monday, um, I was so scared, okay? So I had, um, I'm, I was supposed to actually take like, um, surgery drinks or something like that and so i was taking it during the weekend and then just prepared myself i had some you know wipes uh to prevent um, infection something like that right um and so monday i woke up at three in the morning um to take the last drink um that i was supposed to drink for that day um to help with hydration and nutrients and then, because it's supposed to be two hours before I arrive, um, I'm supposed to arrive in the at the hospital. So I took that drink, and then um, after that, we left for the hospital. So Ian um, was with me, of course, and we went to the hospital at five in the morning. I was supposed to be. I should be admitted by 5.30, right? So we were there by 5, and we pray the rosary, and, you know, with Mother Mary's intercession and all the saints and angels, oh my gosh. After the surgery, the first thing that that I asked the nurse, because um, I was in the recovery room, right, before they would admit me, uh, they would put me in my private room, and... I asked the nurse, how was the surgery? Um, did I need any blood transfusion? Because <laughs> the doctor was like, are you okay with blood transfusions? Because, you know, relig some religious beliefs, they would not um, want any blood transfusion even if they're dying. And I, I told the doctor, please save me. I'm okay with blood transfusion. <laughs> and um, so I said, did I need um, any blood transfusion? Uh, what did they take? So because I already knew if they took everything, that would be cancer, right? But they did not take everything. So she said, your surgery went well and um, you didn't need any blood transfusion because you only lost 50 ml of blood and then and then they took out your right ovary and your right fallopian tube so i was like thank god oh my gosh so i was so happy and i was relieved everything was just and then after that i was admitted in their um uh, in the hospital, so I was there until the 11th. So I was there for like three and a half day, right? Because it was Monday and I got home Thursday um, at 5:30 in the afternoon. Uh, in the yeah, in the afternoon. So after that, I was just at home recovering, and I have been just homebound. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, Ian was with me, and then Nico was with me. He was very helpful too. Um, and I have the, I can't really like lift anything, right? So two weeks later, I need to go back to. I needed to go back to the um, oncologist, to the doctor, so she can take out the staples. So uh, actually, the um, 
the incision was from my um, you know uh, pubic area area to my belly button so it's around it went around my belly button so it's vertical um, they had to do that because they did a uh, um, exploratory which was to check other organs okay because as you already know my uh, right lung was affected so they had to check the other organs and thank god they're okay thank you lord and so uh, i went there uh friday uh two weeks later friday take out they took out the, the staples and i actually um developed um what do you call that allergies from ioban that's according to the doctor because she checked mm, it's good i like this mm. okay so um when she saw my tummy it was raging red and it was like square from my here down to the side and she said what um she was like trying to remember what cost it and she said i think this is the ioban because they put like it's kind of like a yellow pad or something um to prevent infections so she said next time if you ever get a surgery i'm like no i hope not um tell them that you're allergic to ioban i said okay and so she had to um give me um uh, what do you call that? Um, steroids and also the um, hydrocortisone. So I actually got a hydrocortisone um, over the counter, but it's only one percent, and it did not work. Like it was really itchy. It was like burning. It was like oh my gosh. Even up to now, it's been three weeks, and it's still there. Um, but it has the redness has died down. Um, but it's still a little bit itchy. And so I'm taking um, oral Benadryl plus hydrocortisone, and then I I finished the uh, steroids because it was only for seven days. And so yeah, and then the following day, guess what happened? Um, my incision, part of my incision, like two inches of it, opened up and bled. So I was like, oh, my golly, it was scary. Um, so I, I took a picture, showed it to the doctor, da, da, da. and she said, um, that's okay. Um, I think it's the, the inside, the sides of the incision is like healing. So you will be fine. And it's not like bright red, red. Um, um, so I think um, just put gauze or if you have panty liners, you can put it over uh, that incision. So that's what I did. Um, and up to now a part of it is still not like fully healed it's not like like the skin is not connected yet okay so it's just a part of that where it bled right and then also the belly my belly button is um a little tender and it's painful in the inside so um like if 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 i hit like a table or something like that on my belly button it hurts so I have to be careful um, but I have been taking like you know walks in the apartment um, for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes so that's good and then I'll you know try to go outside and take a walk with Ian um, around the neighborhood because I think I can do it and the doctor did say like you need to walk you need to move um, we don't want your colon and you know your intestines to be attached together or something like that because you you need to have you know your uh, a good bowel movement and um to pass gas or something like that so i have been moving but that's it <laughs> in the apartment right um so hopefully everything will be okay by the end of this week for the fourth week because i am really bored <laughs> um i've been like checking my emails um for work and then my my co-workers are saying like 
stop working even our, our our director or special director is like Soraya stop working <laughs> I'm like I have nothing to do I've like watched a lot of Netflix and Hulu and Prime and um, HBO and and Vicky for K drama so and then now I'm actually listening to my Audible um, the third book of Bridgerton so that's keeping me company but I'm actually home alone so I have nothing to do so that's why I said okay let me just make this video <laughs> so that I have something to do right okay so that's what happened to me and yes please continue to pray for me I have friends here on YouTube um, Kareen and Roxy Kareen of Kimberly mommy and Kimberly's adventures and also Roxy of holo holo um, adventures and they have been asking me like how are you how is the surgery something like that so they're so nice if you um, have not subscribed to them go ahead and subscribe to their channel anyway yes let me finish my lunch and then so that's what happened to me and this is my third week going to fourth week of my medical leave and yeah i'm just taking it easy staying at home um, i do want to get um like the covid vaccine before going back to work so i'm trying to um i'll, I'll see if i can do that um hopefully next week thank you for watching don't forget to hit like subscribe and hit the notification bell hi thanks for watching